Let's turn to breaking news now. A man dead after a barricade situation that led to gunfire in Virginia Beach. Police say this all started last night on Decathlon Drive near Damneck Road, and that's where we find our Casey Baylor. So Casey, walk us through the scene. What do we know so far about this? Well, Bethany, I will say the Virginia Beach police say this situation lasted for hours and right behind me, officers, investigators still on scene processing this situation uh, close to a home or right by a home where the red car is parked right off my right shoulder. Now, police say this all started last night with a man in possession with a gun making threats. They sound like a, an assault rifle. The sound of gunfire kept Robert Santiago and his wife up early Tuesday morning. I heard it sound like a shootout. Boom, boom, boom. You know, then another couple of rounds, boom, boom. And then uh, we waited, we waited, and I guess about another 10 minutes, we heard one more. It was boom. A Virginia Beach spokesperson says officers responded to Decathlon Drive around 930 Monday night for a barricaded person inside a home with guns threatening to harm himself and others. Police say officers started talking to the suspect armed with a shotgun. They say he would then place the gun under his chin. I could hear them argue, like yelling back and forth, asking him to stop pointing the gun at himself. Officers say they used a less lethal munition several hours into the incident, but say it didn't work. Not long after, investigators say the suspect shot at officers and they returned fire. I was thinking, boy, do I, I need to barricade myself in the house? So what's going on? When the SWAT team arrived, authorities found the suspect dead inside the front door of the home. Charles James says he couldn't believe the situation happened to a neighbor he's known for years. When I was a teenager, I thought he was a great guy. Santiago says a lot of children live in the neighborhood and he's concerned they'll witness another crime scene in the area. But this right here where we're standing is a bus stop and um, there's a lot of young kids in this neighborhood that come here, you know, thinking of the safety of their children and everything uh, and the people here. I hope we don't have this again. And police say it's unclear if this person died by police gunfire or self-inflicted. We're live in Virginia Beach. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now.